Hello! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today I have a lot of really cool unboxings for you. I've been wanting to film this video, like a mega Alcrate unboxing, for a little bit, because I saw that three boxes were shipped kind of around the same time, so I was expecting them all to arrive at my house around the same time, and I got two of them. The third one should arrive really soon, so this video is probably going to be split with the part that I'm wearing different clothes, and I'm just going to squeeze a third unboxing in it, but I couldn't wait to open the two boxes that I already have, because they've been just sitting here next to me, I've been staring at them for a week or so, and I just want to open them and see what's inside. So as I mentioned before, if you haven't seen one of my other Alcrate unboxings here on my channel, I have a link that you can get 15% discount off any subscription for Alcrate or Alcrate Junior. If you want, the link is in the description, it's current 15, and it helps my channel. I don't get any money out of it, but you get 15% off. And they send me the boxes for me to unbox for you and give you my honest review, my honest thoughts on the boxes. I was subscribed to Alcrate before that, so I like already what they send, so I'm really excited to have so many more unboxings for you. So I've done a few Alcrate Junior unboxings not long ago, so I'm going to start today with the normal Alcrate. This is February Alcrate, and it's been delayed for a little bit, or it's just like took too much time to get to Canada. I don't know what happened, but I'm worried about seeing spoilers about this box online on Instagram, so I'm really excited to see what's in it. I think I know what the book is, but I have no idea what anything else is. And I don't know what the book looks like either. So let's start with just normal Alcrate. So if you don't know, Alcrate is an YA subscription box that comes with a hardcover book, one a new release hardcover book, usually fantasy, but they also do other genres sometimes, and a bunch of really cool items usually, again, uh, inspired by fandoms or just inspired by the theme of the box. So, let's see. The theme for this box was Among the Monsters, and this is what the spoiler card looks like. And I'm not gonna look at the spoilers yet, because I want to see the items first. Okay. There are a lot of paper in here. The first item, oh my god, Jesus, paper. The first item is, what is this? Cable keepers. Oh, this is so useful and really pretty. So this is from, let me see, yeah, it's to keep cords organized and it's inspired by Lake's Edge. It's, it, Lake's Edge was one uh, book that came on our crate before, but I didn't get that box, but it's really pretty. So you use these things to put your cords in and keep them organized, and that's definitely going to be used. I love it. I have never seen bookish-inspired cable cords organizers. So I'm, this is really cool. I really like it. Let me put this here. What else? <laughs> Let me show you what I'm trying to handle here. There's so much paper. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I remember one of the... I, I saw just like a, a glimpse of a tiny piece of it, but I remember one of the items that was that is in this box is a paperback of Frankenstein, because they're doing a series of collect, collection collectibles of classic paperbacks. That was really hard to say. They're, every few boxes, they're sending a paperback of a classic book with an exclusive cover that they're publishing themselves or something like that. Let me try to get rid of this. Oh my god. Oh, wait. There's an item in here. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, this is the liter literary luggage pin. The second one, this is coming in every Alcrate box. Not Alcrate Junior, just Alcrate uh, YA. And this one is inspired by... I don't know. We'll see in the spoiler sheet soon, but it's really cute. And I love that they're doing a whole theme of pins because then it all looks really cute when you put in a banner all together. So let me put here and grab another item. Let 
This is very well packed. Oh, pretty. This is a keychain. Again, I don't know what this is inspired by. It says, we are the darkest art. We we are the darkest acts made light. Arts? Acts? Uh, the Savage Song by V. Schwab. This is what it is inspired by, and I haven't read the book. I really want to, but I haven't read it yet, but it is really pretty. The keychain that I currently use on my keys is a Nevermore one that came on Alcray Jr. a while ago, and it's so gorgeous. So I don't know if I'm going to replace that one, but I really like that. And here is the Frankenstein paperback. So this is not the main book for the box, this is just an extra book, but it is a really cool cover. And it says here on the back, there's something at work in my soul which I do not understand. This is really awesome, I'm really excited to have this special editions of classics because I do like collecting this type of book, but I have read Frankenstein and I did not like it so much, but I, I love the edition. I really like it, so I'm happy with it. It's going to look pretty on the bookshelf, especially when I have all of them. And, oh, this is under every... Oh, there are bookends here. Okay. I can't reach them yet because they're under everything else. But we have a print. This is just a print, an illustration. I don't know what this is. Probably a very popular book that I have not read. <laughs> and we have... Oh my god, I love this one. This is not even, like, this is a an ad for something, but I love this print so much. This is gorgeous. Some promises can never be broken. Start reading and I'll create exclusive digital sampler of Forest Fall, the haunting sequel to Lake's Edge. So this is inspired by Lake's Edge also, the same as, what was it? The court organizer thing? So it has a QR code with the sample and I love this. This is so pretty. Now I want to read both of the books. And here is the official, the main book that comes in this box, which is Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. I knew, like I said, I knew that this was the book, but let's see what it looks like. So here is the cover. It's really cool. I think the person maybe is a different color or the flowers is a different color than the original Cover, they're always different than the original cover. Oh, is this? No, this is the same thing. But it has black sprayed edges, which is one of my favorite color of sprayed edges. Oh my god. Look at this. This is this is so pretty. And it is a reversible dust jacket. I might just keep this book naked, honestly. This is so pretty. I think this is already now on the top of one of my prettiest special edition books that I own. I really love it. And that was not all because like I said, we have the, I think, book ends or something. I'm going to try to grab it. So this is what the bookends look like. Oh my god. What does it say? That love of maidens for... That love... This is really hard to read. That love of maidens for monsters that does not fade with time. I don't know what it is inspired by. Let me put this here. Upside down, okay. And now we have the booklet, and let's see what the other cover was. Yeah, so like I said, the cover of Alcrate has the green, the person in green, and the other one was just gray. Oh my god, all the papers are falling. And then in the end we have the spoiler for the next box. The next one is called Artistic Obsession, and it will come with 
an item from Fiction Bath Company. So something bath related. And that might be the box that's coming this week that's going to be included in this video, so you will know if it is. But let's check the spoiler sheet to see what everyone, what everything is inspired by and if I missed something. Okay, so we have Frankenstein paperback. We have the keychain, which is from by the Savage Song. The bookends are inspired by The Bear and the Nightingale. I have read that. I did not love the book, but I don't remember the quote anyway. But I do like the way that, it, that they look. What else? The Cable Keepers from Late's Edge. The print. Well, the digital sampler for the sequel of Lake's Edge, but I like the print more than anything else, I think. And then we have the pen. No, not the pen. The luggage, the literary luggage pin, which is inspired by the Raven Boys, which I have not read. And this print is from House Moving Castle, which I've read and I watched the movie. I still don't get it, but it is pretty. And then the book, which is absolutely gorgeous. So that was it for the first Outgrade YA box that I have to unbox for you, and now I have an Outgrade Junior to unbox. So for now, from this first box, my favorite items were this print, which is not even considered one of the items. Uh, the book is absolutely gorgeous, but the actual item that I think was my favorite was the Cable Keepers, because it's very unique and useful. And it's going to look so pretty. Let me put all the stuff here and grab... Oh my god. Stuff's falling and grab Outgrade Junior. If you don't know, Outgrade Junior is a middle grade bookish box, so it's the same idea as the other Outgrade box, but it is a middle grade book. Usually, fantasy, I think sometimes they have like contemporaries, but it is also usually hardcovers. And they are not always signed like the YA is, but they are, they at least have the book plate signed for you to put on the box. And the items are curated for kids. Sometimes they are a complete hit for me. The last box was amazing. I loved all of the items in it, uh, even the ones that were just meant for kids. The box before that, they, it was more for kids than for me. So we'll see where that where this one falls. The theme for this one is real friends. And the first item. There's a powder in it. I don't know if it's coming from inside this box or if the paper wouldn't make a lot of sense with the paper, but I don't know what this is. Play foam and there's a surprise toy inside. What what am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. Okay. It's just foam? Okay, I'm going to leave this to the end because I do want to see what the toy is that comes inside. But this is new for me. I've never seen this and I have no idea what's going to happen when I open this. I think it's just going to make a mess. But that's probably the idea. Lots of paper. We have... Oh, that's so cute! Oh my god. We have two pins that are separate from each other. And they're from Adventure Time, and I love this so much. It's really cute. It's one of my favorite pins that they've ever sent. Then we have something that... I don't know what this is. It's heavy. Oh, okay, okay. It's a magnet. Rule of friendship number one, don't keep secrets. And you have, you're supposed to put like a photo in, like this. This is cool. My fridge, unfortunately, doesn't take magnets. Like, I don't know how, why. It's really sad because we have a lot of really cool magnets that we used to put on our fridge, but now we don't have where to put them. But this would be really cool to put on the fridge with a photo in it. Oh, they're two, wait. That's why it's heavy. They were stuck together. Rule of friendship number 24, never spoil the end of a movie. That is true. Okay, that's why it was heavy. I was wondering why it was so thick, but it's because it's two. We have another envelope. This is so cool. 
It's a bunch of postcards with quotes about friendship from famous books and famous people and they look really, really cool. Yeah, there are two of each, so you could like give it to your friend and then both of you will have one, which is really cute and they're gorgeous. And then every box, every Arrowcrate Junior box comes with an activity type of thing for the kids. And this one is a scratch paper, scratch paper stickers. I've heard of this. I think they're more popular in North America, in the United States, maybe here in Canada, I don't know. But not so much in Brazil, but I've heard of them. But I don't know exactly how it works. But I think it's like you scratch it and there's something underneath where you're scratching, then you can make images out of it. So yeah, it's all black and when you scratch it, it will be rainbow, rainbow-like. You get it. <laughs> this is really cool. I've never done this when I was a kid. Like I said, not a thing really in Brazil, but not when I was a kid at least. But it's really cool. I'm going to try it out. Maybe I won't use all of them, because then I can actually give this to a kid to enjoy more, but I do want to try it at least a little bit. And then we have the book. It is called The School for Whatnots by Mar Margaret Peterson Haddix. Let me take the plastic off so it's not super shiny. So this is the cover. It's really cool. I haven't heard of this book before. And it also has the author letter. It has the signed book plate, like I mentioned, and it has the card thing for the characters, like all of the boxes from, uh, of our Craig Jr. are coming with now. And this, I just read the, the thing here inside, and apparently it's a uh, middle grade thriller, which I'm really curious about. Uh, it's about two, two friends, Josie and Max, and one of them, I think Josie disappears, and then she leaves, him, she leaves Max a note saying that no matter what anyone says, I'm real. And Josie is like, no, which one was disappeared? Max, Josie. Yeah, Max is trying to find Josie and they're like, why would I ever think that Josie is not real? What happened? And it says here that this author is a master of suspense and middle grade thrillers. So this is really interesting. Let me see if it has anything cool. Oh my God. It is also a reversible thing. Oh, and this looks really awesome. I might keep this one. Honestly, it's really cool. And really pink, which I like. So I got the first three books from Alcray Jr. already this year, and I hadn't heard about any of them before, and all of them sound so cool. I want to do like a breathe a ton of just our grade junior books because they all sound really interesting and I do love middle grade books. I'm really curious to read this one, honestly. I haven't told you what the other one is about. Where is it? This one. Only Monster. The YA one. This is about a girl. It's a fantasy romance kind of thing. It's about a girl who finds out that her family... She's part of a family of monsters, so she's a monster herself and she's in love with a guy who's a monster hunter, monster slayer, something like that. I feel I haven't read Serpent and Dove, but I feel like it's a little bit of similar premise. Tell me if you've read it, if that's the idea. I think that one is for witch, witches and witch hunters. This is for monsters and monster slayers, which sounds really cool. But I'm very curious to read this one as well. And then we have the spoiler for April's box, which is... Oh, the theme is Twisted Tales. So it's a retelling of something. I have paper everywhere on me now. So let's take a look at the spoiler things for the Outgrade Junior box. So we have the pin set from... It doesn't even say, but it is Adventure Time. Uh, we have the Rainbow and Friends scratch paper stickers. A City of Ghosts inspired magnetic frames. I have read City of Ghosts... No. Is City of Ghosts the one by V. Schwab? Written with the name Victoria Schwab? If it is, then I've read the first one. If it's not then I don't know which books this is talking about. Uh, then we have the, the Play Foam Pals Pod, which I have to open still. 
Uh, and we have the postcards, which I think is my favorite item from this box. I think the design is really gorgeous. And the book. Awesome. So let's try to open this. I feel that, like this is not going to go well. I don't think I'm doing this right, but I'm going to open it inside this box because I don't know what's going to happen. Oh my God. Is this supposed to be like this? It's kind of, it's like all glued on each other. I, I don't know if the if the foam was supposed to be loose, but it's not. Okay. This is a bit gross. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, this is so cute. Okay, come. I don't know if the all of the Alcrate boxes are coming with the same one. I'm assuming it's random and it's really cute. It's like a tiny dragon. Like sea dragon or something. I'm not sure if that's what's how it was supposed to work, but I don't like this. It's gross. I like the dragon though. Okay, so that was the second box that I had to unbox for you. And I'm hoping that there's going to be another clip right after this one with the new box that's going to arrive at any time now. This box took forever to arrive. Much longer than I thought it would because it was shipped at the same time as the previous ones that I just showed you. But it's finally here. This video is coming much later than I wanted it to. But on top of this Alcray box, I have also a Fairy Loot unboxing for you, which was not expected. This was supposed to be just Alcray. And for the record, as I mentioned before, I am a rep for Alcray. So you have a code that you can use for Alcray subscriptions in the description. But why not take the opportunity of this video and just unbox a Fairy Loot as well? This is the first Fairy Loot uh, adult box and I'm really curious to see what it looks like. I know what the book is because when they announced it, it was kind of obvious. <laughs> so I know what the book is, but I have no idea what it looks like because I know they do amazing editions that I always love. And I'm very excited just for the, uh, the adult fairy loot in general because it's different types of, types of books. So let me open it. I'll start with fairy loot and then we'll end with Alcrate. Because this, the uh, adult fairy loot is just a book, it doesn't have any items. Lots of paper as usual. And the theme was Dark Academia, and as I mentioned I already knew what the book was, and I have already tried to read this book. Uh, I DNF'd it, but I am very excited to read this one because, this edition, because it is, it was first, it was self-published, and from what I've heard, from what I read online, they actually changed some things, added some things, to the traditionally published edition. So hopefully it's going to be better. All fairy loot books come in this beautiful pouch. I've never subscribed to the, uh, the YA fairy loot because it's too expensive, but for this one with only the book, it makes sense. Okay, it is upside down. This is gorgeous. Look at this. This is, this is so pretty. The original cover, can I find it? I don't know where I put it, but the original cover is black and the original so, uh, traditionally published also is also black, so this is very different. Oh wow. I have no idea if this is exclusive to Fairy Loot or the actual traditionally published is also like this, but it's gorgeous. So I'm definitely going to try to read this book again. I want to give this a second shot because it sounds like something that I would love. It's about a magic school and six magicians are trying to win a spot. That's like one, just one spot. No, five chances. So one is not going to get in the academy. I even forgot already what the plot is, 
but I am excited to try it again and in this gorgeous edition it just makes me want to love the book even more, if that makes sense. But that's it for Fair Loot, so let's go back to our crate. So this is the Mar this is the March Owl Crate box, uh, the traditional regular Owl Crate uh, YA book. And I don't remember what was supposed to come in here and I don't remember what book it is, what the theme is. I don't remember anything. It's great when that happens. Okay, so the theme is Artistic Obsession. This is the spoiler card that I'm not going to look at yet. And there's a lot of stuff here. There's not even paper here because the box is full of stuff. Okay, so we have the literary luggage pin, which comes in every box this year. And this one is inspired by Great Library of Summershaw. I don't know. <laughs> Let me see if it says here. It does not, so I'm going to look at the spoiler sheet in the end. Then we have something. Oh, this is cute. This is an embroidery kit. This is inspired by Sarah J. Mass, I think, Court of Thorns and Roses, maybe, uh, the Night Court thing. I haven't read her books, but I know what the symbol is. I don't know if you can see it. But this is an embroidery kit. I love it. I've shown here on, on my Instagram multiple times that I'm working, I'm learning how to do amigurumi, which is the crochet animal things. So this is right up my alley and I'm really excited to play with this and do this embroidery thing. This is so cool. Definitely already my, my favorite item of the box. I love this so much. Okay, so the next thing is a face, face, mask, face mask powder. I don't know what that means. I have to mix it in a bowl and and put it on my face. I don't love the idea of doing that, but it's a cool item. I just wish it was just like easier face mask to apply, but it's okay. I'll see if it's not too too much work to do that. And then we have a book sleeve. Hope makes its own magic. Oh, this is so pretty. I again have no idea what this is inspired by, as usual, but I really like it. I no, she's painting, and she has blue hair. I've read a book that the character has blue hair. I forgot what it was, but I'll see at this on the spoiler sheet. And if you know me, and you know that I love book sleeves, so very happy about this. What is this? Oh my god. I you are a living rose among wax flowers. This is a pic photo album. Almost forgot the word there. This is a photo al album. Do we still use photo albums? Does anyone still? You know, one thing that I could do with this is just put a lot of the, a lot of the prints that I don't know how to display on my bookshelf. I can just put them here. I don't know, not something that I see myself using necessarily, but interesting. Different? For sure. And then we have the book. Oh, there's another stuff here on the bottom. Okay, so the book is A Forgery of Roses by Jessica L. S. Olsen. It says, a portrait is worth a thousand lies. A thousand lies. The cover is really pretty. I'm gonna open it to see it better and it has red sprayed edges. It looks like, just judging the book by the cover, because I don't know what the story is about, uh, it looks like there would be a lot of romance in it, but for some reason, I kind of want to pick it up, like right now. This sounds really cool. So it does have a little bit of romance, but it also has a lot of other really cool stuff. So it's about a, a girl called Myra, Mira. She has the power to change people's fates, faces, alter people's real life bodies uh, through painting. So maybe the book sleeve is her, I don't know. But she has the power, that power, uh, and the governor's wife calls her and tells her that she has to do this painting to resurrect a boy, her son, I think, yes, her son, and then Myra goes there and she finds out that it was not actually uh, an accident, like the boy was murdered, so she has to figure that out, she doesn't want to do the painting until she knows what actually happened, 
and it sounds really interesting. I'm really curious about it. Like I said, red sprayed edges. Oh, cool. Okay, so this looks gorgeous. And as usual, uh, our crate is sending uh, reversible jackets, which looks really cool as well. Although it's more plasticky than normal dust jackets, I don't know why, but it's like stiffer, if that makes sense. So I don't know if it would be too easy to use the reversible one, but I really love this one, so I'm not going to use the other one. Let me see what the actual cover looked like the original normal cover. Oh, wait, there's still other stuff. This is a, a sticker sheet, which is really cute. There are a lot of quotes, so this is really cool as well. Let me put this on the side. Grab the booklet, everything's falling. Grab the booklet to see what the original cover was. Oh, they changed it completely, and I really love the what they did. So this, here you can see the original and the fairy, the owl crate one. Really cool. This is awesome. One of my best, co one of my favorite covers that they sent. Now let's check the spoiler sheet because I didn't know what anything was inspired by. Okay, so the book sleeve is inspired by Daughter of Smoke and Bone. That's it. That's the blue hair person that I remember reading about. Then the uh, art? Oh, it is an art print album, so it's not a photo album. It is supposed, it, it is designed for you to put prints on it. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, I, I guess the actual design intent. And it is inspired by an enchantment of ravens. Uh, yes, I was right about the embroidery kit. It is, it is a card of thorns and roses. And yeah, the sticker sheet is a lot of other authors. The face mask is inspired by Dorian Gray, makes sense. I guess the book is also inspired by Dorian Gray paintings that can change people's lives. The animal pen is inspired by a sorcery of thorns, which I have DNF'd. I have tried to read it like three times and I DNF'd it. Okay, so this was the third Alcray box that I unboxed uh, on my channel. So I wanted to show you the three books that came in January, February, and March for Alcray. So we have The Ivory Key, only a Monster and A Forgery of Roses. I'm really excited about all of them. Probably Only a Monster more and then A Forgery of Roses and then The Ivory Key. But they all sound really cool and they all look gorgeous. These two have sprayed edges, which I always love. So really happy about all of the books that were sent. And for Alcray Jr., we had an unforgettable, The Unforgettable Logan Foster, A Comb of Wishes and The School for whatnots, and I'm also so excited about all of this. I already, I'm already reading The Unforgettable Logan Foster right now, and it's a lot of fun. I love this main character a lot. So really awesome books here. So if any of this sound interesting and you would want to, and considering subscribing to Crate or Crate Jr., remember to use my code because it would mean the world to me. And I hope you enjoy the boxes if you do subscribe. And let me know what was your favorite item from this whole video. I barely remember the ones from the unboxings that I did on the first part of this video, but for sure, no doubt, my favorite item was the embroidery kit. No doubt. I'm, I want you to do that right now. Like, it's that's so cool. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye.